Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I need to have a little rant here. Very big companies has very big problems because when you're a very big company and let's say you have a lot of employees, a lot of people working for you and they all need to be working on the same system so that the company can communicate seamlessly between each other. They might have all the branches, they need to have the same files to share and forth and back. At some point one of these very big software companies will come and give the company a very good offer on their products. Let's just say um, Microsoft Office 365, the cloud thing. Everybody can get the cloud thing and it's almost not gonna cost anything. It's, it's very, very cheap. It doesn't matter. You have 20,000 workers and they can all use this wonderful cloud software to exchange files and, and write in and print and everything is jolly good. And you get this software for five years and it works out really well. And then when the five years has gone and you want to extend your period of using this software that is working very well, the company is thriving and everybody is happy with this and then the price goes up very much like a lot a lot like 50% more expensive than what we, you were used to and if you got a really good price like three years ago and now three years later you have to pay 50% more for the same software you don't have to install anything new you just need to pay 50% more to use the same software no change that sucks and um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be ranting about today because I've seen this more than once. Quite a bit ago, I started to play with Proxmox because I could see this coming with VMware and it hasn't gotten better. So now Broadcom has purchased VMware. Guess if they wanna make their money back. Can't really blame them. They have written out a very big check and they need some of that money to come back in. So guess who has to pay for that? Uh, they can't very well go out and get a lot of new customers just suddenly because that market is already saturated. So they go get the money from the customers that has a very big difficulty moving anywhere else. If you're a big company and you have been using VMware for the last 10, 12 years, it's been around for 15 years by now. So all your VMs, Thousands of VMs running in the company will have been made for VMware. Um, converting those to something else. Uh, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a lot of people doing this. It's gonna take downtime. It's gonna take systems offline, migrating. It's a hassle. So even if the price of VMware goes up to the sky, <laughs> Many companies will, okay, it's still cheaper to buy this uh, VMware licensing for the next three years. And we will have to see what happens then. I know what's gonna happen then. In another three year, does anyone wanna gamble that the price has come down in three years of using VMware next time? Any betters? I wouldn't set my money on that. A new boss is now there and now it's his problem that the blotchy thing has gone up another 25% since last time you purchased this, or 50%. And at the same time they take all the essential stuff and they put them out in packages everywhere. So it's not even just one block you buy anymore. No, you buy VMware this with this package and this package and this package and they hollow them out just enough so you also need this package and this package and this package yeah you have to be very careful about that what can you do well you kind of need to have more than one system running because if you only have one system running you have no negotiating power whatsoever but if you had like vmware and hyper v and uh, VMware comes and says they're gonna raise the price 50%. Yeah, we were thinking about putting more stuff over in Hyper-V anyway. Now you'll see the price dropping. That little sentence makes your negotiation power so much bigger because you can easily have two systems running. You don't have to have many Hyper-V servers or Proxmox servers or whatever other servers just enough 
that they know that you actually do have a server system that can do both, they don't know. Well, they might know that you have 3000 VMs running in VMware, but they don't know how good you are at moving them over. But they do know that if you suddenly use Hyper-V more than you use VMware, then they might not have you as a customer in three years when they were planning to raise the price again. So by having two identical products in-house, um, you don't have to use both of them equally. You just need it for the negotiation power. Uh, we actually have that where I work. We have it on hardware. So we have Lenovo and we have Hewlett Packard servers. Both of them does the same thing. We have them as uh, VMware hosts, uh, many of them, and um, a Lenovo server can be replaced by a Hewlett Packard server and so forth and so back. So when I go and shop for servers, I make sure that the configurations uh, for the servers that we need can be fulfilled by both companies. So I don't get anything that only Hewlett Packard Enterprise can do or anything that only Lenovo servers can do. I get uh, something that gets some competition between the two companies. I don't, well, I do care if it's a Lenovo or Hewlett Packard Enterprise, but but I don't let my religious brands or favorite servers get in the way of my company getting the best hardware at the best price. You don't want too many brands because, well, you have to maintain all of these systems. So you need uh, management software for Hewlett Packard Enterprise and for like Lenovo. So for Hewlett Packard Enterprise, it's uh, the software called OneView. And for the Lenovo, it's Xclarity and you need to have those installations and maintain them and if you have two other server brands well the work becomes a lot and i can assure you just having those two server brands has saved my company a shit ton of money when we go out and have them compete about like a lot of server last time i did this it was 250 server so we went out to these companies that sell servers and asked them we want uh, this configuration for this server and this server and the configuration has to be the same otherwise it's not equal and you can't favor one from the other then the competition doesn't work so these companies that sells us hardware goes back to Hewlett Packard Enterprise and to Lenovo and says um, we would like the best price for this configuration we need 250 of them so we have multiple companies going back and asking the producers of the servers to give them the best price my example of the 250 servers was that we thought this would cost us 27 million Danish kronos to get these servers when we got the price it was like 12 million less than we thought we were going to be paying for it and um, ran into a lot of trouble because then we suddenly had 12 million Danish crowns that we didn't know what to do with. So some other shopping that was planned for next year was, uh, was moved forward and was done that year. So having at least two equal options when you go shopping for hardware is a really good way to uh, get some competition going and make a huge saving on what you need. We do not have the same thing on storage which is really irritating because when I do the same thing on storage well I have these companies uh, that sells the storage but they all go back to the producer of the storage and ask what's the price of this when there's no competition between two producers uh, Dell AMC is, is the biggest one around here they know they're gonna get this deal so there's not a lot to play with there so it doesn't work very well at all working on that one yeah VMware would be nice to have something like Proxmox or Hyper-V or another system where you could like well if, if VMware is becoming so expensive, we will settle with a lot less licenses and we'll move stuff over and suddenly the price will drop. Another thing to be wary of is if you're buying something and the company says, we're the only one that can do this. That's not a good sign. If they're the only one that can do this, you don't want it. If you're reliant on them to do that, it's gonna cost you. It might be very cheap right now because, well, they want to get you into the shop. But when the deal has to be renegotiated in X amount of years, 
you're gonna pay a premium for that they were the only ones that can do this because now they got you hooked and you just stored 60 terabytes of data on their compression system that will take you one and a half years to move out of because everything has to be blah 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 and you have 10,000 customers having their files there and you have to call every one of them and ask which day will suit them for moving their data around you don't want that if they're the only one that can do it don't use that part of the software you want something where you can move it tomorrow if, um, if they pisses you off you really do want something that you can move out of without having to well even have this company involved if you can like move it to the competitor's system without involving the the first company because if you tell them that you're gonna move your stuff off of their system let me just assure you they're not as helpful as if you're moving to their system so suddenly everything becomes very very difficult the same thing goes with cloud services if you're using a cloud service they will grind you in they have some smart features this cloud service has some awesome features doing this and this and that um, if you use them and they're not very expensive or anything you can just use them it's fine do that but when you use them you can't move it over to the other cloud provider so you might be using this awesome service here and suddenly the price of the uh, this other thing that you are using and really need goes up but the other thing that is really smart makes so that you can't move anywhere else because you are vendor locked to this cloud provider because you're using their fancy features which is only fancy to keep you where you're at instead of you moving around to where it's the best price i don't really recommend the cloud because you have no control over what it's gonna cost next year and they can change their license agreement and they do that all the time suddenly you don't have control over your stuff oh that was in our license agreement renewal from december we are now sharing that with our partners in irania cheat them mustini stan rip them off stan <laughs> So having everything in-house, it doesn't ring as nicely as, oh, we are moving to the cloud. So we have come up with the, the phrase that we are embracing a clear sky strategy. That means no cloud. It sounds just as fancy as cloud computing. Oh, you're not on clear sky yet? Really? Are you that far behind? Have you seen the prices? Clear sky is the way to go. The future is your own data center. Yeah, and if you want to do anything AI, that is just ridiculously expensive in the cloud. So yeah, put in an old graphics card in a server and you're way better off than buying any AI stuff in the cloud. So good old graphic. I don't know if this one is going to be any good for, for AI, but it's a good one to, to, if I move it around fast enough, can't even see that it's some old stuff. But yeah, AI is very expensive in the cloud right now. It's very beneficial to have your own server running doing that. So I think that's my rant for this time. Try to have more than one system going for strengthening your negotiation power when, uh, when these companies come and tell you what they want for the next time. I have another bad one, that's uh, Citrix. Uh, we use a lot of Citrix where I am and uh, the last three years we bought was like 30 million Danish crowns. It's a lot of money, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of Citrix. So th that was already expensive. So for the next three years it's 45 million Danish crowns. So it, the price went up 50%, so that sucks. That's enough ranting. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can um, save some more money. Yeah, if you saved some money please do subscribe. Otherwise, like the video and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.